This is Finland, land of forests and a thousand lakes. The early visitors were hunter-gatherers who went home with stories of strange lights in these northern skies. Some spoke of ghostly floating ships and steep cliff faces mystically rising from the sea. Finnish people retain a love of solitude to this day and find comfort being on their own in the wilderness. There's one Finnish man who connects with nature in a unique way. He's dedicated his life to capturing images of all the strange apparitions that appear in Finland's skies. Pekka Parvianen is the world's greatest mirage hunter and photographer of atmospheric phenomena. My name is Pekka Parvianen and um, I'm a kind of professional freelance photographer and photographing all kind of atmospheric phenomena or atmospheric optics phenomena, light and color in the open air. And there are four main categories I photograph and focus on mirages, green flash and distortion of the sun, aurora and nocturnal clouds. I think I'm kind of addicted to document anything I see, anything special I see or anything I would like to show someone. So I really want to photograph. It's kind of a diary. What motivates a man to make such a commitment? How does a simple hobby become such an obsession? As a child, were you generally quite happy and curious about things around you? Yeah, I think that that's my main character, that I'm terribly interested in anything. Even Pekka's home is a result of his obsession a perfect platform from which to observe and photograph the sky. Where did your interest in the moon and, as and astronomy come from and, and how old were you? Uh, I, th I think it, it was kind of inside burn. I, I don't know, inside born, I don't know how, how it really came. Kind of turning point was 72 when I got my graduation gift or graduation present and I asked to get asked to have an SLR camera for photographing moon and planets through our local astronomical association's telescope here in Turku. Well, okay, you can see uh, I'm photographing on the very same spot every time, every year, for very good reasons. So the scenery and the objects are very same as what we have seen. Here, here's a um, lighthouse. It's 10 miles, 14 kilometers away from the away on the sea. So, and this is a um, strong superior mirage. As you can see, the air is come flowing from right from land, and it creates the island doubled, but uh, with a <coughs> lighthouse. And actually, this has three red zones, which are occasionally you can see up to six or seven. I, I can show this, uh, or I want to show this because it's 50, uh, 50 times speeded up, so it's not a too long a, too long a shot. Here's a sea pilot's house. We're gonna see better, better images. But anyway, again here is miraging layer, inversion layer, and it tries to invert the house and the whole island above, above it, so we get the miraging image. Now, now there's a good, starting to be a good mirage. <coughs> and you can see as the camera is sta stable uh, on some si on some on some height. <coughs> And depending on the inversion layer height, you say, see different kind of mirage. Okay, this is this is the one of my greatest moments when I.